Thank you so much, Dolly Phillips. And I want to believe that um, there's some level of mentorship in that. You know, someone in your neighborhood picks you up every morning or calls you up, get up 6 a.m., let's go for a walk, let's go for some exercises. That should be the, the informal kind of, of mentorship. I was wondering, I was wondering <laughs> the angle. You know, so a lot of I... things run through his head. I was just watching her and I'm like, this lady can mentor me, you know? <laughs> All right, <laughs> thank you so much. Mentorship, we've been talking about, and um, leadership. Two words, you know, that work together. And mentorship, we have learned that is a service. It is a service, either from the mentor or from the mentee. And it's a service and um, in the leadership field and a great value to humanity. It's not a quick fix. It's not a quick fix. Relationship has to be built, deliberate relationship, an ongoing relationship that makes meaning, that adds value to both people involved, has to be established. And when you talk relationships, it's two ways. Yes. yes. For the mentor, mm -hmm. for the mentee, there's something to give. Yes. So yes. They, they always say that uh, you learn to teach and you teach to learn. Mm. Okay, so mm -hmm. it works both ways. Yes. So if yes. you're looking out for a mentor, be ready to give. True. And if you want a mentee, yes. be ready to give as well. True. Yes, because like Ted Jerry said, he said mentorship is an opportunity to let the best of you create the best in others, mm. creating results that impact. Absolutely. You know, and to do that, you have to build an alignment. Rolake also mentioned about alignment and those are all parts of building a cohesive relationship. Yes, and uh, you see, Rolake, Rolake hit me in between, you know, the eyes, you know, a few times with her comments. You know, she, okay. made, she made some very profound statements, you yes, know, about purpose, mm. yes. about alignment, yes. you know, when you come into a relationship you know, mentor and mentee. Yes. And uh, you see, there are quite a few takeaways. And, and I think also that for those who are grounded in this field, mentorship is like a way of life. Mm. You know, it's a way of life. You don't yes. just wake up one day and you say, I want to be a mentor. There's a process. You have to have some qualities. Yeah, um, she talked about patience. She talked about knowledge. You have to be fully grounded you know, and what it means and it takes, you know, to give to someone else and also to be able to recognize when that someone else has something also to offer you. And I'm, I'm led to also believe uh, by um, something that Winston Ch uh, Churchill said, and um, he was talking about we make a living by what we give yes, and we not are. really what yeah. we take. Yes, yeah. that's, that's you know, We make a life. Found. We make yeah. a life yes. when we yes. give. Yes, I, I was, I was going to step in there when you had said that you can't just wake up and be a mentor. Actually, you can. Okay. Because um, through the different stages of life, you go through different experiences. Experiences, yeah. You learn different things. So you're you not just waking up one day. So you so get there's something. Yes, you're not in, in, the, in the literal like the sense. Second, yes. Like a second you're not guess. just waking up. Our yes. environment you know, prepared her for what she's doing. Exactly. Today. So, so but the reason why fix. I wanted to, yes, but the reason why I wanted to point on that is if there's anybody who decides that, you know what, I have something to add. I have some value that I can add to another person's life. Then go ahead and do it. Yeah. Sure. There's no hard and fast rule. There, then, you know, it, there's, no, there's no school of mentorship. Yes. Mm. The most important thing is, are you willing? Are you able? Do you have the time? Do you have the right temperament? Yes. So, for example, because of all the mentorship that I have gotten through the course of my life from a very, very, very young age in my life, you know, I always have this thing of whether I'm meeting you for the first time, whether I'm not going to meet you again, yes. I always try and make sure that I leave you with something. I impact something in your life, mm. regardless of whether I'm meeting you once and I'm never meeting you and again. And I had that experience with you this morning. This morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was she, going to say... She never each, leaves a moment. I was, I was going to say, and each time you meet Pharaoh, there's an unconscious And I say to you, impact. she's so expressive. You know, she, doesn't, she doesn't influence. notice something and just walk away. You know, she must correct 
what is wrong at that point in time. And she doesn't only just correct, she lets you know why you need to see. In, in Ferro's case, about. what you're suffering in quotes is <laughs> peer mentorship. Ferro, Abby? Peer ah, mentorship. Well, eh? That's yes. what I learned today. <laughs> Just, just coming into close contact with you, you know, and I learned some things from you. Mm. Yes, you and know. I've I've learned a lot of things from both of you as well. So, like you said, yes, where we all going through the peer mentorship, but seeing as you guys are older than I am, it's also older, younger mentorship mm. as well. So. Even within the three of us, there are lots of different types of mentorship. Fantastic. Okay, so John, we're Fantastic. missing out something. Yes, we're missing out something. Right we're missing away. out my nugget. Oh, yes. My nugget for today. My nugget for today is, where is it now? Most fears about public speaking stems from our fear of being judged. Mm. You know, Very most true. of the time when we're scared of going on stage to, to you know, address uh, the public, mm. Mm. It's unfounded, the fears that we carry. Yes. Because yes. at the end of the day, you find that, uh, oh, I didn't have to worry so much. Sure. The yes. audience, most of the time, is not as judgmental as yes. we assume yes. that they yes. are. Yes. But you see, if you carry so much, I call it luggage. If you carry so much luggage to the stage, it mars your presentation. Mm. It mars your performance. So it is what you call... Um, um, it, it is fear stage of, fright. Stage, stage fright, fright, of course, yes. The bottom line is the fear it's, of the it's unknown. Fear of the unknown. And it's unnecessary. And uh, there's there's a technical word for it: okay. glossophobia. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Glossophobia. I, sh I, sh I shall make sure that I check it in my text. <laughs> so later. glossophobia. So that's my nugget for today, and I hope. Uh, that we have all enjoyed it. Mm. And John, I think it's not only about public speaking, it's about life, you know. Sometimes Stepping out. there are a lot of things that you want to do and you're wondering what's the next person's opinion about that. Yes. Yes. You know, will I get it yes. right? And yes. that probably stops you yes. from taking the plunge. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're almost done on today's show. Farah. So, we have, like you said, we have come to the end of the show today. And I hope we have all learned some very useful pieces of information that can help us as we navigate through 2021. Yeah. Um, continue to follow us on our social media handle on Instagram, at Plus TV Africa. We are also on YouTube, so you can watch replays of the previous episodes that we've had. We are also on Twitter and Facebook as well. Um, thank you for being with us today. Stay tuned and until next week. And on that note, I would just like to leave a few words with us. Dare to be limitless. Dare to start that business. Dare to learn to launch that company. Dare to channel that course. Dare to be different. Dare to study science and technology for the ladies who think that subject is only for the men. And finally, there to be innovative. Thank you so much for being a part of Today with John and Helen. We'll be back same time next week, Saturday, right? Yes, yes. Saturday. Right. Thank you. We'll see you then. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>